Well folks, hello and welcome back to Relaxing Wood Shop. Of course, my name is David. Christopher Hunt can't be here at the moment because as always, he's got a couple of other things going on there. But we are here, we are ready, and we are going to do the weather vane. Now this weather vane is going to be a wee bit special because the wife's a massive Harry Potter fan. So I want to try and create a weather vane where he's flying through the air, trying to catch a uh, golden snitch while being supported by a dragon. Now, if that sounds all a bit crazy, I think it's all a bit crazy too, and I don't know I'm going to do it, but we're going to have a go anyway. So, hold on to your seats, and let's get going. Before we get into the show, I just want to take a wee sec now to thank everybody so much for their support and subscribing. We are the tiniest channel uh, that, that there is, pretty much. So if there's any way everybody could come together and get us to the thousand, that would be great. All you have to do is hit that wee subscribe button. That one, see, that one just there, just, yep, yeah, up, almost, there you go. So we've looked at a few images and we've kind of picked this one here. So we're gonna transfer this to a thin piece of marine grey plywood so it can withstand the elements. Obviously we're then gonna paint that with a weatherproof black paint. And then from there, we're gonna create the frame and do everything else attached to it. So let's start with this and we'll work our way down as we go. So now that bit's done and that was enjoyable, I like getting into the, I haven't used that wee machine in a while. What we're gonna do is now we're gonna create the north, south, east, west um, compass section of it. Uh, so what we'll do, reclaim wood, now there's a ton of big nails in this, so we need to cut this before the, before, before the nails and run it on the table. So I'll get that all cut down to size and then I'll show you the templates that we have for our letters. Don't wanna say it's cheating, but it just gives me a template, makes it easier to, to, to work around it.
Okay, folks, so I've decided to just change slightly because as I was going through this, it's kind of creating its own wee um, design here. So what I decided to go for, a basilisk. Instead of a dragon, you need the wings and all, and we're not able to do that. So the basilisk is what we're going to go for. So I've drawn this out. So this is the snake, and there's the big teeth and the top head. So we'll cut this on the bandsaw, the big bandsaw, and then we'll get in the mouth with the wee saw again there. So we'll then I've just done a wee mark line here, because that's where it's perfectly flat, because that's where the bar is going to come out for our north, south, east, west, and then where Harry Potter is going to sit above that. Hopefully that's the plan. So let's see how we go. Okay folks, so there is the basket slide line, so as you can see this is going to attach to a piece of wood that we'll put together nicely, and then we'll put a straight line up and that's where then uh, north, south, east, west, and then Harry Potter will be flying. So what we need to do now is drill a hole for the eye so the eye will actually shine through. Now sometimes it can be hard when you're looking at something like this to get an idea, so come on over and I'll show you how you do this. So if you get a bolt, stick the bolt down. And if you look, it just looks horrible, terrible. But as you work your way across, you'll start to see that it starts looking good. And if you go to there, too far. Hi, so there you see, that looks pretty decent there. So there's where we're going to drill, and let's do it. Well folks, that is all we have time for this week. So what have we got done? So we have our basilisk with the support for the wall or a post if you're putting up the post. Probably actually be better in a post because it gives you that bit of height above it. So that's for the post. And then you have the basilisk that we're going to paint lovely in black. I think I might do something with the actual eye itself. Don't know what, we'll work out that. And then of course we have our Harry Potter, which will get painted. He's going to sit there and move to whichever way the wind's going to blow, which is brilliant. So all we need to do now is get the north, south, east, west, get the steel pipe, um, 
rod that's going to run through to go up to allow him to move and then we have to do something spectacular to work with Willy Golden Snitch. So all of that's to get done at the next show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We love to see those uh, wee ticks going up because we're such a small channel and we we'll look forward to seeing you next week on the Relaxing Wood Shop.